Kristen Spinella, and I work at the Mohawk Regional Information Center with the Instructional Technology Team. Today, I would like to show you a helpful instructional tool called QRobot. When you receive the kit from Warwick, you will see six spots in the class set. To get started, you will need to turn on the QRobot and connect it to the Q app found on the iPad included in the separate iPad tray. Q can be used with upper elementary students all the way through high school. It can be a fun and engaging tool to enhance instruction in any instructional area. Its basic functions are based in coding. Students can control the movement and spoken language of the robot through code entered into the Q app. In addition to Q, you will want to ensure you also request a tray of iPads. The iPads will allow students to enter their code to control the robot. One way Q can be used in the classroom is by having students create interactive posters. Students can design a poster about a topic in which you are currently discussing in your classroom, such as the water cycle, plot diagrams, etc. Once the poster has been designed, your students can then record their voices into their code to allow the robot to move around the poster, reading off different facts throughout the poster. For example, with the water cycle, students can program Q to stop at the picture of the clouds and record their voices into the code to discuss how condensation occurs inside of the clouds. Another great example of using Q in your classroom is to have your students create a snow plow that attaches to the front of the robot. Using painter's tape, mark out a square on the floor of your classroom and scatter cotton balls around the square. Students can then use coding to allow Q to push all of the snow into the marked square. In this activity, students are using their knowledge of coding as well as measurements both in centimeters and angles. If you are new to coding or are looking for additional examples, MakeWonder.com has free scope and sequence lessons as well as cross-curricular activities to get you and your students started in your classroom today. Now that you have completed your lesson, it is time to return the equipment back to us. Please make sure that you have turned off all of the robots by pushing the power button on the side of each robot. Gather all of the charging cables and place them back into the bag in the kit. Also, ensure that all iPads are placed back into their case with their power cords plugged into the device for easy charging upon arrival back at the office. Thank you for joining us for this brief introduction to QRobot. As always, if you want to learn more about Q or are curious about how you can use robots in your classroom, please reach out to your Morick Assigned Instructional Computing Specialist and we will reach out to you. Thank you and have a wonderful day.